U.S. Army Corps Engineering TI 85002 Air Force AFMAN 321125 1 March 1st, 2000 U.S. Corps and Corps Engineering Technical Instruction Railroad Rehabilitation and Design and Rehabilitation. Turnouts and crossovers description. Turnouts are designed to divert trains from one track to another. Two turnouts form a crossover when used together to allow passages for the train between parallel tracks. The general arrangement of the turnover across crossover is shown in figure 625. The main parts of the turnout are shown in figure 2626. For additional switch detail, see ARIMA plans 190, 220, and 221. All right, um, starting from the left, um, you see the left-hand turnout, the right-hand turnout, the equilateral turnout, the right-hand crossover, the left-hand crossover, which is two parallel tracks. Um, that's the difference between them. Okay, uh, back out of this. Um, here's At the top part, we're going to go over the switch. Um, you see the switch right here with the switch stand jam nut connection rod, number one switch, number two switch, heel of the switch, straight stock rail. Um, the lead is along the main track line, well, um, with the also the uh, which turns from the point of the rail length in the switch between the connection rods, your switching stand. Um, if you're taking the turn on the uh, you turn, take the straight closure rail to the um, flange and where it hits the um, the next set of rail in between the frog and the toe and the heel and the point of the frog um, with flange ways to hold the guard rail uh, the gu guard rail um, on to the main line to the to the track. Um, the switch is shown on um, the switch is shown in a, a bend and stock rail um, to a bent stock rail. Through the switch point rail length, um, the point of the switch is connection rod. The left-handed switch point, the right-handed switch point, the number one switch rod, the gauge plate, the switch rod bolt, um, the switch throw measured at number one reading, um, stock rail brace, um, clip bolt, side bolt plate, number two switch rod switch plates, and heel bolts and heel filler, straight stock rail and curved closure rail off the straight closure rail. While they are maintaining tight on the straight closure rail or going to the bent stock rail at the switch. The size. Turnout size is designated by the size of the frog used in the turnout as illustrated in 627. The size of the frog determines the angle of which the turnout track diverges on the tangent track. The frog size also influences the required degree of curvature within the turnout. Um, the frog number turnout is the turnout size. And here you see the uh, throat. Or the theoretical point, or the frog number of the feet and number of feet, the frog angle, the gauge lines, one and point of the actual frog point. Standard turnout sizes should be selected in table 612. 612 turnout sizes selection criteria. Turnout size of 10 has a curvature degree of 7.4. Selection criteria preferred where space permits, where longer cars over 75 feet or 140 ton flat, con ton flat cars with three axles are being handled to use over crossovers. A turnout number 9 size of turn turnout curvature is 9.3. Small size recommended to handling long cars over 75 or 140 tons flat car with three axles and ladder save. Save space and compared to number 10. The turnout number 8 in turnout curvature degrees 11.8. Not recommended to handling long over cars over 75 feet or 140 tons. Flat cars with three axles, smallest size normally permitted. See the design selection. The main design is the decision for the turnout of the direction in which the turnout will diverge is shown in figure 625. The angle of the frog or the frog number which determines the sharply turned diverges also designates the size of the turnout. Recommended choice of different um, turnout components are covered below as layout of the design and use the number standard configurations are required. 2. Once the standard turnout has been selected in from table 612 or the geometry has been otherwise determined, the designer will then specify the desired switch frog of the guardrails needed from the appropriate arena plan of the turnout crossover tie set of the table 69 and the amount of the rail needed for the completing of the turnout. Connecting the switch and the frog, the arena of the plan 910 or 911 guidance on selection of these items other than turnout hardware is given below. 3. All materials used in the limits of the turnout will, fact will be factory designed and constructed of the proper type and size not to be flamed cut or otherwise altered in the field.
D switch switch ties. The turnout fastened by special ties called the switch tie set. The general switch ties increase the length of the switch point and just point past the frog at which the turnout ends from the point of the two standard track continues an exception as which the switch point of which switch stands requires two long tie, ties, head blocks, and accommodated stands of operating rods. This make up the switch ties that will be determined in table 6 9. Two, the size seven inch, nine inch hardwood ties will be used on turnout. Switch ties will not be will meet t um, material treatment specification standard tracks covered in the chapter six, paragraph fourteen. E switches and switch points. Standard switches are from use of, from use on military track and sixteen feet six inches. Switches gra graduated risers are shown in Rima Plan one twelve. Detailed specification for the switch is given in the notes up upper right corner of the plan and most specifications of the eleven twelve E and eleven five F non insulated hand throw rigged brace. They Adjusted brace, the desired specification 1112A and 1112B. B, um, insulation notes: If the switch is not single uh, with a single circuit or near crossing with the warning lights or gates, short the longer switches may be used needed. But switches shorter than 15 feet are not recommended. Two locations with traffic conditions may access where the tapper ends of the switch um, point or uh, using an alloy seal uh, hardened switch points recommended with the REMA Plan 220. Using spring switches is not recommended in the Army or Air Force track. Switch clips, either adjustable jaw clips or adjusted transit it clips, are shown on the top of the arena plan 222 are suitable with the slanted row of the holes on the clip provided with the adjustment of the switch rod lengthening rate ranging from an eighth of an inch to one half an inch affected mo moving the bolt from one to another. Rail braces, the rail braces that support the outside stock of the rails may be either rigid or adjustable type. In the most re most cases, rigid braces will surface, but with movement in the both directions through the turnout of them but may be frequent under heavy loads adjustable braces are recommended eight switch stands and lever latches ground, ground throw low or switch stands are preferred especially in terminal points however the high stand preferred in r more remote areas or end passing sightings of the route diverging many variations of standing available most suitable however the any select stand selected short of the provision of the throw le lever lock or latch solidly in place for the switches in remote areas a switch point lock or a lever lock may be desirable all right frogs and guardrails the solid magnesium self-guarded type of the frog is shown in figure arena plan 641 and 691 in section B. B is preferred to the slower speed operation, most commonly military installation. Self-guarded frogs simply turn out um, construction may not require separate guarding t rails the opposite of the each side of the frog. Two rail-bound magnesium RBMs frogs are shown in Arima Plan 600 may be used on heavy traffic lines and the traffic approximately equal on both the sides of the frog. The tip of frog is most desirable on long turnouts of the sizes 15 or above. Um, since magnesium steel is suited into the long points that requires comparative little maintenance, bolted rigid frogs, as shown in Arima Plan 320, can be used in any location of military installation. However, the new frogs are required in the two space two choices as preferred. Space spring frail frogs will not be used in Army or Air Force installation. Um, five, the frogs secured to the ties with the set of the hook plates as shown in the REMA plan 241. When not using self-guarded frogs, the guardrails will be specified to match the frog size as listed in note A, 2A, and REMA plan 502. Guardrails of the type of REMA plan 504 and 510 may be used. Um, Stock rails and closures. End rail makes up the straight and curved stock rails. Closures rails may be must be supplied, indicated by the REMA plan 910 or 911. The amount approximately equal to twice the actual lead of column four plus the closure distances of five and six. Rail of the limits of the new and second hand turnout will be the same weight of the section and should match the rail on the main diverging tracks. Comp Compromise the joints are not permitted with the limits of the turnout. Where new switch points are specified, the relay closures or checkpoint must be made to assure that the top gauge side of the points closures mu match at the heel joint. When turnouts were, we, will be rebuilt, mo both new and relay rail will be available on the project. It is recommended for the new rail used to reconstruct the turnouts. This avoids the potential problem of rail con contour mismatch and switch heel joints. Okay, the layout and dimensions. Layout data and dimensions. In most case, most case designers will use the design dimension layout data standard turnout shown in the REMA plan 9, 10, and 9, 11. With the turnout size selected in table 6, 12, components of options are discussed above. Turnouts may be laid on the left hand, right hand, or equilateral as shown in figure 6, 25. On occasion, non-standard layouts are required whether the different point of length are used in turnout layout may be determined in figure 6, 28, and equation 6, 12, and through 6, 15. Turnout design. All right, you're looking at A, which is the switch point length. Um, 
shown on the, both the left side and the right side of these two parallel running lines. Um, the G is the track gauge. The S is the switch angle. And by the by Q, which is a short leg, leg triangle, and number two, which is um, part of uh, an E, which is frog toe spread. The H is the switch heel spread. The uh, um, frog angle minus the switch angle, frog angle plus the switch angle divided by two gives you number um, part two. Um, number one is the number one is like the heel and the frog and the frog pro. Um, while um, D is a frank frog tail length frog toe, frog toe, F frog angle. D frog length, frog toe length, um, E, where's E, um, E is the, from the E to the, e to the rail is, uh, the frog toe spread, B is the closure length, L is the lead point of the switch theoretical point of the frog, N is the frog number, um, P is the frog point width by, to, equal to one half short leg of the, the triangle. Number two is Q uh, radius of the curved closure rail is R S is the switch angle H is the switch heel spread G is the track angle frog is the ang F is the frog angle frog toe spread frog toe length long cord and clo closure length. The switch angle in the degrees is S, H is the heel spread at the standard dimensions of 6.25 inches, T the thickness of switch point in inches in the standard dimensions of zero quarter of an inch, the A length of the switch point inches is the C long quarter of the feet divided by Q equal the, uh, the short length of the triangle number two is minus for the uh, track gauge by the frog toe spread minus the Switch heel spread where the gauge where G the track gauge is frog of the toe spread of the Riemann plan nine ten or the column twenty one. Uh the heel switch heel spread the switch heel spread distance which is a standard value of zero point two five zero um half of fifty two thousandths of foot and frog angle in the degrees of the Rima nine plan nine ten in the column seventeen converted degrees. S is the switch angle in degrees by the radius of the curve closure is equal is congruent with the cord long cord feet and the frog um by two sins of one half the frog angle by the switch angle frog angle degree by equal to uh, minus the switch angle degree. Um the lead is congruent with the switch length uh in long cord feet plus the fro frog toe length of the Riemann plan 910 and column 19. Equilateral turnouts. Equilateral turnouts diverging from the frog angle is divided equally on both sides. The toe turnout has two curved stocks and two curved closures that mirror each other and likewise degree curve are all along, each, all along each closure is half of uh, the standard left and the half of the right hand turnout. M turnouts inside the curve when not requ required. The space limitations or the location of turnouts inside of a curve will be avoided. Curva curvatures through the turnout on the inside of the curve equals the degree of the curvature for the curve plus the standard turnout. The plan, thus number 10 turnout often inside 3 degrees will have a curvature of 3 plus 7.4 or 10.4 degrees. The turnout curvature was not must not ex exceed the design limits. 18 track connections and ladder tracks, diverging routes. Figure 629 shows the layout of the typical diverging route connection. Now, note the angle that the route diverges the same as the frog angle of the turnout. The distance of the intersection of the track center line's location of the frog point is given in equation 616. Figure six twenty six figure six six twenty nine diverging route. You have the point switch with B. Um well here's your uh diverging route connection. Um A B and D and E and F and um the I and N uh here you see F and then E and F D and C and A and F and E Q and E and G and N and uh, B. It's hard. Um B K distance uh, the um, BK is the distance between B to K as shown in figure 6 to 29 feet and G the track gauge feet and um, N number frog number the f for the layout of parallel siding connections is shown in figure 6 third the tangent distance is Q should be at least 50 feet. Uh, the Q right here is 50 feet um, the uh, right handed uh, curvature um, F at the uh, here's the uh, heel and the guard and the switch point and the Q and N um, 
while x is three times, the two times, one time, the y, two, and three, and equal to p, it, the ct and f angle of the heel is given in a parallel dimension of a parallel line with f to the parallel tracks. While well, f has a funding of uh, another f um, same angle made um, parallel with radius r. Covers cro crossovers are a combination of two turnouts used in two adjacent tracks as shown in figure 625. Ladder tracks illustrate typical ladder shown in point A through an H as an arrangement commonly used in parallel tracks and loading tracks. Also see chapter 8 on layout of yard and terminal tracks. Here's a ladder track. It shows the frog angle. The G number, the N plus 12, defines the location of the actual point of the frog. Uh, the P is the distance between the track center lines, and the X is between the switch by track number 1, 2, 3, and 4. X is the distance between the switches. Um, e, um, your angle, and, uh, F, the point of the... Uh, I need the other legend, sorry. Railway crossing recommended types of bolted railway crossing describes one and B in Arima Plan 708 recommended for use in military tracks. The layout on play uh, plates of various angles across at the given Arima Plan 700 F and 700 J. Anchoring approaches railway anchors are used in track approaching railway crossings. Ever to the third tie should be a box anchor four anchors per tie for at least two rail lengths in all directions for the crossing. All rail crossing expenses require more maintenance than the standard track. Track layout should be designated with need for the track to unless and clearly necessary. 20. Miscellaneous track appliances derail. Um, an application type derails commonly used in spur tracks or siding to prevent runaway of the cars or unauthorized entry to the main track. Derails are also used to protect standing equipment stored on a track. Three different types of switch point derail, permanent hinge, siding, sliding derail, or portable derail. Location derail should be located in the after the running of the derail and would have stopped before the point of the requiring protection. The distance depends mainly on the track and gradient figure 623 and derail placement. Now the derail placement, um, the derail, um, the derail or um, the portable one is can be also used for re um re um for uh derailments where you have to take the portable derail and build a set of tracks to put them back on the line. Um, derail is protecting main track left hand rail main right hand derail path of derail wheels um path of derail wheels. Figure location of the derails. Size designation derails must be ordered the size of the rail which they are to be installed. The number of the derail usually indicates the distance from the top of the rail on top of the tie. Derails generally come in the even one size and can be shimmed up on the height of the half inch, or the ties on the derail attached can be added to up to a half inch deep to accommodate height variations. For direction, um, derails designed to the either left hand or right hand, the proper direction determine local di direction of rolling stock derail. When moving right hand derail is installed on the right hand rail the derail, derails of the off the right hand side of the wall the left hand derail is installed on the left hand rail, side of the rail always to the left okay bonded and grounded track where whenever the carry of the fuel and fuel ammunition other flammable um, materials are unloaded where track is loading adjacent electrical equipment rails and related track materials capable of conducting electrical current must be bonded grounded and insulated with the remaining track this bounding and grounding helps prevent discharge static electricity during the loading and unloading of these Hazardous materials. General requirements for bonding and grounding are given in additional details and found in Chapter 33, Part 7 of the REMA Manual. Um, two, when a side tracking section of the running of the track is to be bonded, the ground and insulated joint provided with on each side rail of the first rail joint beyond the turnout of the adjacent main track at either the end of the main track, the rails, or other joints in the track beyond between the insulated jo joints will be bonded together with bond wires. Both rails and bond tracks will connect with the grounding connectors to single driven ground rod. Um, an etho exothermic type of railway bond or the Codwell bond is recommended for the application of rail bonds on the military track. Bond cables should be flexible bare copper standard 10-1-0AWG gauge is performed ends and should contain the applicable requirements. Ground rods should be um, 75, uh, 3 quarters of an inch di diameter copper clad with the right rods or 1 inch diameter zinc coated steel rods. The minimum length of the ground rod should be 8 feet. The guard rail should even be directly vertical and the full length of the top of the ground should be located at a minimum of 12 inches below the top of the subgrade at the, to sub to at the toe of the sub ballast slope. The maximum allowable resistance of ground rail on the structures is 25 ohms. 
An electrical connecting hardware should be bond pressure type of the materials having no rotating parts of connecting the direct contact with the conductors. Six of the railway crossing required of the bond of the two rails together with the connected rails. Grounding rods of ground railway crossing guard will shall be included, installed under using exothermic type of the bonds. 1-0 AW gauge, flexible bare copper, stranded copper cable of the cross bondage should be applied with the rail heat of the rail web of the cable. The cross bond installed the minimum of 12 inches below the bottom of the tie on cross bound ground should be installed at 100 foot intervals along the track designating loading and unloading of fuel ammunition and volatile hazardous materials Def defective bonds will be removed sh shearing cutting old c cables immediately adjacent with the welder the pin or flame torch will not be used to remove the defective or out of service bonds Eight, when overhead power lines excess of 600 volts cross over the track, the rail will be made electric. Rail will be made um, electrically continuous grounding for the distance of 150 feet on each side of the power lines. Track scales. When required, track scales will be designed and installed in accordance with the AR scale handbook, which appears in Appendix A or EMA manual. To the des design and construction trucks, track scales and performs by the commercial firm the specialized design, fabrication, construction of the railway track scales. D pumping um, post and wheel stops pump bumping pumping post wheel stops timber either mounds should be used in an open end of all sub 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 tracks to prevent cars from rolling off the end of the track. Two where the non critical railroad cars ab ab absolutely stop at the track to end protect personnel and parked vehicles equipment where no hazard or present consideration should be given in low earth mounds. Some type of the wheels um, stop at the end of the tracks rather than coupler height and solid bumping post or obstruction. E road fen roadway fencing track. The character of land using the property adjacent with the railroad security requirements will be governed. Needed in the fencing along the right of way, the installation physical security should be consulted to ensure that the security fencing requirements are covered in the design. F the snow fencing in Chapter One, Part Six of the Rima provides the guidance of the application of construction of snow fencing, other mi mi measures to minimize snow drifting on the track. G cattle, cattle guards, an area of livestock or other large animals could enter the right of the railroad right away at the railroad crossing. Cattle guards must be may be necessary. Chapter Seven, Railroad Crossing and Bridges.